there in this video we're going to show you how to start a list on MailChimp and how to get the embed code that you can create a nice little form to go into your website or your blog so let's just have a quick look at what I mean by that this is my blog here and you will see that at varying points on here I say would you like to have and I give um, a freebie and I put people into my list because I'm giving something away. So if we just scroll down the page, I think it's been ridiculously slow today for me, but never mind. There you go. It says, how can we help you? Fancy your free tips. And I've just put a very short form in here that people can click through on and then they can get some freebies. So on that particular one, they get three weeks of all sorts of funky stuff. So if you'd like to do that, this is a good place to be. And I'm going to look forward to sharing it with you. So we're using MailChimp, which is free for up to 2,000 people on a list. And once you've got more than that, I wouldn't imagine you're going to be upset at paying, I think it's about $9 a month or something. It isn't a fortune. And there's lots and lots of things that you can do on it. So when you've created your account, and there's a link below here if you'd like to click through and go and create your own, then this is your dashboard you get when you log in. So to create a list, we need to go across to lists, and we do create list. And it says, do you really want to create a list, or do you want to subdivide an existing list with groups? So for the moment, I'm going to create a list because I want to show you how to do that. And you're going to need to put a list name. So let's call this test one. You're going to need to say who it's from. And I always say it's from the social media cafe. And then you're going to need to put in a default email and a default subject. Now, this is really important. This is the reason that people click. This is what comes up in the box when you create it and you send your email out. So, what do you want it to be? So, have a think about what you want to put there. I'm just using this as a test, so I'm going to just leave that for the moment. Now, a short reminder about how people got to be on your list, because it's not cool to just willy-nilly add people for no reason at all, or if they didn't ask it. So going through the yellow pages is probably not a good thing to create this list. And then you need to put all your details in there. And if you want emails when people subscribe or they unsubscribe, then that's down to you. Now, you might also want to think about, do you want to pick an email format that they can get? Are they using their mobile, for example? So you can tick that box and you can save that. So then, when you want to do something with the list that you've got, Oh, what have I got wrong? Oh, I have to send in a short reminder of how they got to the list, which I didn't do. So let's just take one that we've already done before. There you go. So, where was I? Once you've got that list, what can you then do with it? Well, let me just go and take you down to a list we already have and we can show you it. So this is the list and I can just view it. I can add people to the list. Now this is very different to those of you who've been using some of the others. People don't always have to double opt in, you can just add them. Now you have to be very careful with that because if they're going to say, no I didn't subscribe to this list or whatever it is that they do on the form when things go out because it has to have an unsubscribe on the bottom of everything and this does it all for you, it will actually comply to all the legal stuff that you need to do. So it's better to have a small and focused list rather than have a hulking great list that you're, that people don't want to be there, okay? You can import people from other places that you've already got them subscribed in as well, so that's a good thing. Now I said to you earlier, we're going to show you how to do a form to go on your blog or to go on your website. So you're going to click into forms, which is where we've just gone. And you can create a funky form that people can click through on that looks like this. 
But what you want for your little form is you want to just go to share it and you actually want an embed form for a web page. So if you click on there, and you're going to want a classic form, okay? And on your classic form, you can change things and you can tell it what you want. Now, depending on what you put on your mail list originally, I would suggest that you do required things like email address, first name, last name when you're creating your original list and make sure that you tick the little box that said these are required because then if you want to come across and do a short version you can just click only required fields because if I click all fields on this I'm going to get all of the great big list that I had on my main thing. Now people are not going to give you lots of information and if you're making them go through hoops, then they're not really going to do what you want them to do. Okay? I usually take off that and the required fields indicators. It'll tell them when they're filling it in that they need to do it. And then you just click create embed code and it does it for you underneath. And if you just copy that, then you can actually go and take it straight into your WordPress site. And let me just quickly show you how easy that is. So I just need to log into the back and I need to add a text box in widgets. So let me just log in. And we'll go over to the widget section and show you how to do that. Oh, we seem to be getting some uh, comments on our blogs again. We do seem to attract some quite uh, interesting spammers, bless them. So let's go across to widgets. Um, I apologise if I've got my stuff on WordPress across the top. I have a plugin to do that because I happen to like it up there. So wherever it is that you actually want to put your sign up form, then you need to go and take text out of here and we'll put that up here and then you just paste that code into here. Now if you're offering something, you're going to have to deliver it in the final thank you and sign up email. So if you're giving them a report or whatever, then you're going to need to deliver that. And I'll show you where the emails are in MailChimp in a second. But once you've saved that, it will give you the form. So let's just save that quickly and then I can remove it because I obviously don't want too much on here. So let's just go and have a quick look at what that's just done. And I saved it just underneath my social media icons at the top of the page. And there you go, it says subscribe to our mailing list. Now you can change that to whatever you want it to say. So I've just left that for the moment. And you can see it's just fit onto there. It looks like the Google Plus um, plugin doesn't seem to be working, but never mind. So if I want to remove that, I just click delete. And it's gone. So that was really, really easy. And back to here. And this is where we created the, we can create a big form and we can put headers and all sorts of funky stuff in here. If you just want a link to send them to here, then that's absolutely fine. You don't have to put it there. So for this page on my thank you page, if I've said, would you like um, this free money off voucher or this free link to whatever, it is in this thank you page. I would have to put the link to it. 
yeah and I can just come in here and I can edit that and it's just a standard text editor and you can put a link through to whatever you want so put it up on your Google Drive at, at, which was Google Docs so if you're still using Google Docs it'll be on Google Docs and you just save that and this will be the last email they're going to get from you okay so if you have promised a giveaway then this is where you're going to push it and put the link to it and then you don't have to pay for autoresponders and we'll talk about autoresponders in another video but click the link below if you want to go through and get a copy of MailChimp if you haven't got it already and if you want to come and share how you're using it and what's working really well for you why not come and say hello that's Amanda Hill the social media cafe go to fb.com forward slash the social media cafe we'll see you there